Hi, this is the third episode of the Maps in React series, where I show you how to create a map app with pop-ups, a sidebar, a visualization switcher, geocoding control, and 3D terrain. In this episode, I'll focus on creating pop-ups and a sidebar. We'll continue with the code from the previous episode. Remember that you can get this code from my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. First, let's add some pop-ups. When you want to show info in a pop-up like this, the best place to start is checking which attributes your data has. You can do that simply by looking at the JSON file, or you can open the data in the Vector Data Editor and look at the type of each attribute there. Once we know what we can use, we can begin. In my map component, I'll create a new use effect with a map on function. This function will react to clicks on the point layer and take the event as a parameter. I want to get the coordinates from the event, and I'll also need a description to display in my pop up. Now let's create a new pop up called MapTyler SDK pop up, and it will take the coordinates from our event and the description from the event property name. And of course, I need to add it to the map. Perfect. Now we can see the name of the accommodation for the point that was clicked on. Of course, you can add more information to the pop up, but showing it in a sidebar will give us more space for all the details. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next episode. I'll be adding a geocoding control in that one. Okay, so we have pop-ups on the map, but what happens if you have a lot more information to show? Having a huge pop-up covering the map is not great, so we can create a sidebar component to put it in instead. I'm using Material UI, and that offers several different options. Let's use Persistent Draw. Copy the code for it, and paste it into the sidebar component. I'll import the sidebar to the map component, because I know that I want to pass props from the map component to the sidebar. This is easier if they are passed within the component. If you prefer to merge the map navbar and sidebar in the app JSX, you can, but your code will be a bit less straightforward because you'll need to use the use context hook. Simply importing the sidebar into the map component isn't going to work because the example sidebar includes a navbar and text field. So we'll need to modify it before it'll work with our map. First, we'll remove the navbar, that is the app bar component. Let's check it now. The navbar is gone, but the sidebar is still not working. OK, let's now change navbar. Note that I've already prepared this component for integration with the sidebar. So here I have the icon button, handle draw open, and open properties. Next, I need to define the open property. For that, I will create a new state, open sidebar. I want the sidebar to be closed when the map loads, so the initial state should be false. Also, I need to move handle draw open to the map component. Let me rename it to handle sidebar open and use my sidebar open state. Next, let's remove main component. It has an open property. When I open a sidebar, the text field is resized. Doing the same with the map might cause glitches, as the map tiles would reload. It's much smoother if the sidebar overlays the map, and I reposition the visualization switch button. 
This means the button must be wrapped in the main component with an open property. My map container should be outside the main component, but still within the box component. From the sidebar, I also need to move the styling of the main component and import styled from the material UI to the map component. The sidebar should open when I click on the icon in the navbar. I can do that by changing the open sidebar state in the handler function. Whoops, that should have been in the navbar component. And I can do the same to close the sidebar by clicking on the icon in the sidebar. Again, let's rename it and use my sidebar open state. I also need to add handle draw close to the sidebar properties and remove the box component from the sidebar. The sidebar now works, but the button is under the navbar. Let me fix its position. That's better. When the sidebar works, I want to fill it with the attribute data. For that, I will create another state in which I store the data from each specific point. The item state should be changed when I click on the point in the map. and the sidebar should open. And I need to pass it to the sidebar component. I already moved some sidebar parts to different components, so let me clean the imports. Now I only want to render the sidebar text if an item exists where the user clicked. If there is no item, I'll tell the user that they need to click on a point. Let's add some padding so the difference is visible. OK, we should see that the sidebar is working now. And now I can populate the sidebar with the point data. and I can add more attributes in the same way. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our channel because next time I'm going to show you how to add geocoding to this map. Bye for now.